students as a part of engineering chemistry first unit that is molecular structure and theories of bonding today i am going to explain you about the molecular orbital energy diagram of fluorine molecule so what is fluorine molecule f2 is the fluorine molecule now as it is f2 we can say that it is made up of the two fluorine atoms it is made up of the two fluorine atoms since it is made up of the two fluorine atoms uh, we can explain the molecular orbital energy diagram of fluorine molecule with the help of fluorine atom fluorine atom now what is atomic number of the fluorine atomic number of the fluorine is 9 atomic number of the fluorine is 9 so since the atomic number of the fluorine is 9 9 electrons will be a part of it 9 electrons will be a part of it and as the fluorine molecule comprises the two fluorine atoms so totally 9 into 2 18 electrons will be a part of the fluorine molecule and what is the electronic configuration of the fluorine atom electronic configuration of fluorine atom is 1s2 2s2 2p5 1s2 2s2 2p5 1s2 2s2 2p5 right so this is how we can construct the molecular orbital energy diagram of the fluorine molecule atomic orbitals of one of the fluorine atom should be taken on the left side and the atomic orbital on the, of the fluorine atom the second fluorine atom should be taken on the right side should be taken on the right side and while constructing the molecular orbital energy diagram of any of the molecule we have to consider three postulates of molecular orbital theory that is the first postulate what is that atomic orbitals combine to form the molecular orbitals and second postulate is the number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to number of atomic orbitals combined and filling of electrons either in the atomic orbitals or molecular orbitals follows the three rules aubow rule pauli's exclusion rule and hertz rule what is aubow rule the electrons are arranged in the increasing order of the energy level so coming to pauli's exclusion principle maximum number of electrons either in the atomic orbital or molecular orbital are two and hertz rule states that the pairing of electrons on takes place until or unless each and every orbital is filled with one electron of the same energy level so we have to keep all these three postulates in your mind while constructing the molecular orbital energy diagram of any of the molecule now let us try to fill the electrons in the atomic orbital first so atomic orbitals so how many electrons are a part of each fluorine atom nine electrons nine electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so in the similar fashion let us fill the electrons in the atomic orbital of the second fluorine atom second fluorine atom so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so we have filled all the electrons in the two atomic orbitals of the two fluorine atoms right now what is the first postulate of molecular orbital theory students the atomic orbitals combine to form molecular orbital and the number of atomic orbitals number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to number of atomic orbitals combined so accordingly two oneness atomic orbitals of the two fluorine atoms combine to form two molecular orbitals out of which one is associated with the lower energy which is nothing but sigma 1s and another one is associated with higher energy that is sigma star 1s that is antiboiling molecular orbital 
in the similar fashion two two s atomic orbitals of uh, the two fluorine atoms combines to form the two molecular orbitals out of which the one will be associated with lower energy which is nothing but sigma 2s and other one is associated with higher energy which is nothing but sigma star 2s and what star what is star star denotes the anti bonding molecular orbital and in a similar fashion one two three of this particular fluorine atom one two three of this particular fluorine atom totally six totally six atomic orbitals of the two fluorine atoms combine to form six molecular orbitals one two three four five six and in this case the sigma 2pz is a head of pi 2px and pi 2py sigma 2pz is a head of pi 2px and pi 2py and whenever we compare it with uh, the nitrogen molecule in the case of nitrogen molecule pi 2px and pi 2py were ahead of sigma 2pz why what is the reason i have clearly explained in one of the video and the link of that particular video is uh, given in the description box so please do watch that video in order to understand why one role is applicable for filling the electrons for the molecules containing 14 electrons and why a, another role is followed for filling the electrons in the molecules containing more than 14 electrons right okay now let us fill the electrons in molecular orbitals totally how many more electrons the fluorine molecule contains 19 electrons sorry 18 electrons fluorine molecule contains 18 electrons so we have to fill these 18 electrons in the molecular orbitals so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 17, 18. So we have filled all the 18 electrons of the fluorine molecules in the increasing order of the molecular orbitals. Increasing order of the molecular orbitals. So we have filled all the electrons. Now, with the help of the molecular orbital energy diagram what sort of information we can get uh, we can get the information about the magnetic nature of the molecule bond order of the molecule and as there is a directly proportional relationship between bond order and the stability of the molecule we are going to get the stability of the molecule and not only that as there is an inversely proportional relationship between the bond order and bond length of the molecule with the help of bond order we are going to get the information about bond length of the molecule as well right now based upon what we can decide whether the molecule is paramagnetic and diamagnetic uh, based upon uh, the presence of unpaid electrons if the unpaid electrons are present then we can say that that particular molecule is oxygen that particular molecule is paramagnetic just like the oxygen molecule if it won't contain the unpaid electrons then we can say that it is diamagnetic now if you see the molecular orbital energy diagram of the fluorine molecule are you finding any of the unpaired electron students all are paired right so since all the electrons all the 18 electrons present in the fluorine molecule are paired this fluorine molecule is diamagnetic in nature this fluorine molecule is diamagnetic in nature diamagnetic in nature diamagnetic in nature right diamagnetic in nature now what we have discussed bond order so what is bond order students bond order is equals to 1 by 2 nb minus na nb minus na 
equals to 1 by 2. What is NBS friends? What is NB? NB is nothing but the number of electrons involved in bonding molecular orbitals. And what is NA? Number of electrons involved in anti-bonding molecular orbitals and anti-bonding molecular orbitals are denoted by star. Right. So, number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so totally 2, 4, 8, 6, sorry, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So totally 10 minus number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Totally how many are there students? 2 here. Next, 2 here, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, once again, 2 here, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. So, 8. So, equals to 1 by 2 into 2 equals to 1. So, based upon this, we can say that single bond exists between the two adjacent fluorine atoms in a fluorine molecule. Accordingly, accordingly, the fluorine molecule is F, single bond F. So, this is about uh, the molecular orbital energy diagram of the fluorine molecule. I hope you understood this. Thanks for watching, students.